my photographer friends, it's time to talk about protecting your images. Copyright protection, that's this. In this video, I'm going to show you how to add metadata to photos in Lightroom. Now, good question. What is metadata? Well, metadata is information that's stored inside the image file. It's not visible when you're looking at a photo, but it's embedded inside the photo file itself. Now, this includes information about when and how the photo was taken, and that comes straight from your camera. But you can add extra metadata to your images to protect them with copyright information. And for this, we're talking about more personal stuff. So if anyone downloads your image from online, your information will be buried inside the image. So let's have a look at that. If we go over here to the metadata panel in the library module, we'll see at the top there's a preset drop down. And if I click on that, I've got two presets that I've already got in there. So I'll just click on one. And what it'll do is it'll fill all these fields with information. Now, the majority of these come straight from the camera. So if I just scroll down a little bit, you'll see there's dimensions, exposure program, metering mode, ISO speed, lens, all that stuff comes straight from the camera and you have nothing to do with it. But there are fields that you can fill in as extra. Your name, what you do, your address, your email, your website, all this kind of stuff, you can fill in and have that embedded in each image. But now you don't want to do it for every single image. So that's why we use a template. So let's go back up to the top. And what we'll do, we've got a template here that we've got open. So what we'll do is we'll go and we'll edit presets. And here is the metadata preset. And this is one that I've filled in before. So what we're going to do, it'll just save you watching me typing all the information in again. So what I'm going to do is go down this information. Now, quite a lot of it I'm not bothered about. This one, the IPTC copyright information, I am interested in that. So copyright 2015, well, let's update that now for 2016. The copyright status, what do I want? Well, I'm going to put this as copyrighted. And then rights usage, I'm going to put in all rights reserved. And then the copyright URL, we'll send that to my website. If we scroll down to the IPTC creator, I'm going to type in things like my name, my address, my email and my website. And really, that's about it. That's about all the information I want. I want this information in there, firstly, for security. So if it ever does go that I need to take somebody to court, for instance, then the judge can get hold of information that's embedded in the image to prove that the image is mine. But also, if somebody gets hold of one of my images and they want to ask my permission to use it, then they've got my contact information inside the image. So, OK, so we've got all these in, all this information filled in and we're happy enough with that. It's really easy just to go out and click done. But what we need to do is to save out that. So I'm going to go up to the little drop down at the bottom with a preset and I'm going to click on save current settings as new preset. I'm going to click on that and I'll call this, let's say, my standard preset 2016 and I'll click create and then I can click done. So now if I want to apply this to an image, all I've got to do is to go in here and select standard 2016 and click on that. And now all the information in there will be updated. You can see down at the bottom here, it's now updated to copyright 2016. Now you can add this to multiple images. So if I wanted to add this to a few of the images or a load of the images, all I do is I can select the images. Let's do this in grid view to make it a little bit more viewable. And then again, all we can do, 
we need to go up to the top and where it says preset I select standard 2016 it'll ask me do you want to apply it just to one photo or all the selected ones I want to apply it to all of them so I'm going to click all selected and now all those selected photos will have been updated with the current template okay there's another side of this where we can automate it even further by doing this on import so if I go down and click on the import you'll see the import dialog will come up and now over here on the right hand side in the apply during import panel we've got a metadata drop down and on this one we could choose now the standard 2016 which is the one I've just made and now any images I import will have all that information embedded inside them automatically on import job done so that's it how to protect your images by embedding metadata in them by using a metadata template thanks for watching if you enjoyed this video please be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss a thing I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.